Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young and today I'm going to show you how I painted this old looking pirate ship in the water uh, at sunset with a beautiful golden light. So I'm working on a 20 by 24 uh, canvas today and using this large soft stipple brush again. Uh, I've got yellow ochre, burnt sienna, neon red, lemon yellow, uh, dioxazine purple and titanium white. So first what I'm going to do is take my yellow ochre, my large brush, it's a little bit wet. I'm going to start kind of twirling the paint around to apply it. Take a little bit of white with my burnt. A little bit of white with my yellow ochre. And the water's going to be down here. So I'm going to just take the same colors on my brush and just pull straight across. Now the reason why I like working on a black canvas is uh, because it makes a really dramatic painting. The colors pop nicely against this as a contrast. So I hope you guys are giving it a try yourselves and enjoying it. It's so much fun to do. Okay, I'm just going to continue to add this. So as I'm swirling around the brush, I'm creating those clouds. So if you want to do this and you don't have this exact same brush, just take any large blending brush you have and very lightly and gently twirl your brush in circles like this. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush, some more white and yellow ochre, and I'm going to pull across. We'll continue to do this with a little bit more water. And what I want to do is take some yellow with my white, and it has a little bit of yellow ochre in there too, that's okay. We're using all these same colors. And I'm going to lighten it up in this area. A little bit more white. This time making tighter, smaller little half circles. Get a little bit of water in my brush. I'm going to make it brighter right in this area. So I'm going to line my brush up right here. Get a little bit more there. A little bit of yellow as well. You can kind of just go back and forth as well as you want. And I've got a little bit of neon red here, and I'm going to mix that as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of it up here, and if it ends up being too bright, then I'll just cover it up. A little bit of burnt sienna. So I've got my burnt sienna right here, mixing it with my neon red. A little bit of water to help pull that out, help it flow nicely out of my brush.
I'm just gonna lightly dust circles over top of part of this golden yellow color that I have. Okay. I'm gonna take my dioxazine purple with a little bit of white. I want it to be able to show up against that black paint. So I've got to add a little bit of white to it. I'm going to just add it over in this corner here. And then pull it down here on the bottom. I think what I'd like to do is, I do have some leftover phthalo here from yesterday. I'm going to add a bit of that too because it's so pretty. So I'm going to mix all three colors up and what you'll get is uh, kind of a light blue violet. Which is this. So instead of, uh, and you can just see as I hold this up how nice it looks with these colors. Um, so it's pretty much the same. If I just add a little bit more white, I can make that color. So see how close that is? It's slightly darker, but that'll probably work a little bit better. So I'm going to come right in here, halfway on the warm part and on the purple part. And I'm going to just ease my way back in over here to the purple. I can bring a little bit over this way as well. And maybe a little bit for a shadow in here. And then just by tapping like this, I can bring a little bit coming in. So I want to add a little bit in the water. I'm going to pick up some more here. Add a little bit like that. Get a little more water on my brush. Pull in just more of that paint. I love all these colors together. Uh, I think I want to just grab a little bit of white and make a few areas here a little bit lighter because I know that they're going to dry darker. Oh, I need a bit more blue in there. A little bit of blue. And a little bit of white. I'm going to switch over to another brush. This one's just a little bit too wet, I think. And it's too big for what I need to do next. I've got a little uh, number four filbert brush. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. Then I'm going to take some more of that light blue violet that I made. Grab some white in there. I'm just start making little scoops with my brush. Now depending on how wet your paint is underneath, you want to do this quite carefully. And I mean, don't press hard just because you don't want to take that underneath layer off or mix it too much with the yellow ochre. You do want to have it a little bit wet though just so you get some some nice soft in between colors. Add some land back here, I think. 
Maybe something's off in the distance there. We'll add a little bit more purple, blue and white. Maybe we've got some mountains. Make it a little bit darker on this side. So a little bit less white. So I'm just adding a bit of white and adding some light and softer tones. I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna, red and yellow ochre. And right in this area where we're going to have our ship. I'm going to add a little bit of purple to that. Make sure you have enough water on your brush to help pull that paint. Be able to spread it. I'm just going to do a dark purple line right here. This is where our boat's going to start from. And I'm going to leave that for now. I'm actually going to go back to this little filbert brush and I want to add uh, my sun right here. So I'm just going to scumble off the paint in the shape of a circle. And then I'm going to come in with bright white and a little bit of yellow right there. So I'm wiping the excess off on a towel. While I have this brush, I'm going to take more of my yellow, white, and yellow ochre. And I want to make this nice and bright right here. Add a few lines. The same color. Pick up some more white, a little bit of yellow. Make some more over here, but they're not going to be as bright. So I'm pushing a little bit harder to make that sort of softly blend in. Make some longer ones, just sweeping back and forth, sliding back and forth with your brush. You just want to make lines so you're leaving some dark lines in between. Sort of like a rust color, yellow, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, my neon red. And I want to add a little bit of light back in here.
a little bit of a blue purple white mixture to my brush that has yellow ochre on it and I'm just gonna add a little cloud that comes out here and it comes all right across meeting up with this one and then kind of just scumble and wiggle around with my brush to make other ones in here up a little bit of white, add that inside, I'm going to take white, a little bit of yellow, and paint inside the sun. Some yellow to it. And then more white. And I'll let that paint set there for a bit. Just kind of set and dry and then I'll come back and, and lighten it up if I have to. I'm going to add a little bit of light with this yellow and white that's on my brush. I'm using a little liner brush will work well for this too and I'm probably going to switch over to that in a minute. I want to brighten this up a little bit more just so I get so that I can get a really nice silhouette going on. A silhouette won't really work well unless you have a nice balance of light behind it, right? So, so adding some yellow ochre and white, a little bit of yellow, whatever, any of these warm colors mixed with white will work. Big number 11 one here. Get a little bit wet. Pick up these colors again. And add some more ripples and light in the water. I find it easier to, to paint them quickly than to take my time. If you paint quickly, you kind of just get into a rhythm and it gets it done quicker and much easier instead of overthinking it too much. Add a little bit more yellow and white. To a few areas here where it's going to be much brighter. Mix up some more paint again. Here you can also slide your brush like this but sometimes you'll get a curve so you want to try and keep it as straight as you can I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre over to this side so that it's not the same color as this I want this to be the brightest
Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna in there. A little bit of water, loosen that up. So I'm just mixing these two together. And soften some of it. Take some more of those two colors. Blend some of it up here. Start to add some bright light in here. It's going to match down below. So yellow and white. a little bit more of this color, mix it with some of these warmer colors down here. Let's add some sun rays in here. Get a little water on my brush. Don't sun rays just make everything prettier? I'm going to come right down here. And we'll add a little bit here on the side. Some of that paint mixed up with some water. Work it out of your brush. Just a little something in here. I want the focus to be on these ones here, but I just want it to look like there's, it doesn't just stop all of a sudden. And just wash the paint out of my brush because it was just getting a bit too thick and harder to work with. So a little bit of water, fresh white paint. with that. I think I'm going to leave that for now. And I think I'll do a 
another bright highlight in the water. I want this to be really soft and pretty looking. So white with a little bit of the yellow. We can put a few little rocks in the water too. Let's take our phthalo and our purple. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna. And we can just add, this will really make the water pop out too. Just add a few little blobs here guys, that's all. That's all there is to it. couple like that and I think that I'm ready to begin the belt oh actually I want to I'm gonna use my pinky for this make sure I don't have any purple in there dipping my finger in white paint and I'm just gonna brighten that up And around the edge. Well, oh, it's not quite ready to add the paint. It's kind of pulling it off. And I can come back to that after. Okay, we'll leave that for now. And where else do I need some light? Maybe a little bit more in here. What would really look nice on this too is some gold paint. And I'm gonna come in here and start painting the boat. So I'm gonna take a clean brush, my purple, maybe a bit of phthalo blue. You could just use black for this if you want, but I like to use complementary colors and Purple and blue look really nice with yellow and orange. I do a little half circle there and then a little slant. A little reflection. Have that little I don't know the terms guys, but I'm just going to call it a line that comes out like that. And we're going to go across and then slightly up right here. And then another slant down there. I'm going to bring it up higher, get my brush a little bit wet. Okay, and then I'm going to make this a little bit lighter in the water, the shadow, just so that the boat, because it should be a little bit lighter. That way the boat stands out more. And you can see that separation. And then we're going to have, I don't know if they're called masts, but we're going to have three. So one's going to start, we're going to be uh, there. And then we'll put another one here another one here. 
So you'll have three. One just comes up a little bit higher. We'll just do it very lightly. Skinny little triangles. And then another little guy right there. And I'm going to go across here again to bring that dark silhouette back. Mm -hmm. Look at the line there. Do one line at a time with me, guys. One there. One there. Pick up a little bit more of my purple now. my brush off and take more of my purple. Got a little bump right there. Sorry guys, I've got a truck, a really loud truck going by. Make that pop up a little bit more on this side. Loosen some of the paint up on my brush with some water. And I'm going to do some lines here in this reflection. And then wherever we have, this looks a little bit crooked. Ugh. Well, it's that tall now. I'm going to go right underneath and do a little reflection, little wiggly lines. And this right here, a little bit like that, and down here as well. You can make them wiggly, or you can pull little lines like this. I like the little wiggles because it gives you that neat pattern in the water that you often see from reflections when the water is really, really calm. A little line right up there, giving me that too tall. I don't like how tall this is. I'm just gonna kind of just try to make that disappear a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit more. bits of light in here. So I'm just taking the corner of my brush with white and yellow. You can definitely use a little liner brush, any little brush that you uh, find easy to use. Make this a little bit lighter in here. Just go over it a few times so it's not bright, right? Okay. Back to my liner brush. I'm so upset. I don't know what happened to my really good. My I had 
a really nice long long liner brush and I have no idea where it went so I'm going to have to order another one so I'm going to go up just make these mass a little bit darker A little dab right here, here, here. And just the indication of a little flag right there, I think. Another line right here, and one here. I've hardly got any paint on my brush. It's much easier to do this without a lot of paint. One comes up right here. Sorry guys, I'm really quiet. I'm just really concentrating. You guys can see all I'm doing here is adding dots and lines. As long as you just get uh, a few in here, just do lots of little lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. helps to have a really good liner brush and this is not the best liner brush I'm just going to rest my finger here where hopefully it's dry enough and I can steady my hand and get some better lines in here.
go over with some more of my purple and blue right on the top here to make this nice and dark. A nice deep dark color right there. That one's a little bit too thick, so I'm just going to go over, try to go over with a little bit of that background color, which helps quite a bit. Make that a little bit more subdued, I think that looks better. Add, I'm almost done this one. I want to add a few little lights, make it look like there's some light on inside of here. So I'm going to use my yellow ochre. My white, yellow ochre, neon red, and yellow. And we'll see if this stands out. So I'm just going to do you little dabs in here. Oh, I think that looks cool. And a little line of yellow ochre, okay, just a highlight here on the rocks. More yellow ochre. Take some burnt sienna with my yellow ochre and add a little bit of that as well. Cleaning my brush off. I'll go back to my yellow and my white. I'm going to make a few of these. Oops. A few of these brighter. How I managed to pick up a little bit of burnt sienna and have it in there. Oh, that looks cool. bit of white now and I'm applying the paint really really thick Something on the bottom. 
see how thick the paint is. I want this to just pop out. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Right there to give this more of a, a glow. Little bits of yellow like that. And then another pop of white inside. Couple more highlights on the clouds and then We'll be all finished this one. And again, I'm just using my yellow and white. a little bit of my neon red and burnt sienna okay and I am just about done how many times have I said that now <laughs> take my light blue violet that I made bit of that to the water.
Okay, this painting is all done. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot today, got inspired. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly art inspiration. Have a wonderful day and happy painting everybody. Bye!